First responders are in the business of saving lives, but now here in Medina, dispatchers have a new tool at their fingertips to help them do just that. For Dick Durham, the saying lucky to be alive has a whole new meaning. There's no question I wouldn't be alive today without them. Dick meets his buddies nearly every morning here at Eden Park in Medina, but three weeks ago the morning routine became anything but ordinary. Dick was having a heart attack. The calls for help came here. Medina police. And on the other end of the phone was dispatcher Julie Bennett. The city has an emergency medical dispatching program which takes dispatchers through a series of questions to ask about medical emergencies. But that's not all. In Medina, half of all the dispatchers are trained EMTs. It helps me know what information they might need as they're responding to the call. And Medina police respond to all ambulance calls in the city. Officer Kirk Vozar was armed with critical information from dispatch when he arrived to help. They're also equipped with AEDs and CPR gear. It does help us uh, prepare in our mind of what we are going into. So with that, that information, not only does it help the, the individual that we're going there to help, but it helps the officers as well as the ambulance team. The ambulance was there within a minute or two. Medina is one of a few communities which has a partnership with Medina Hospital. Cleveland Clinic employees actually staffed the city's life support team. And in a business where seconds count, time was on Dick's side. And today, he met for the first time all of the people involved. How do you thank some a gr a group of people who saved your life? I mean, I, there's no question I wouldn't be alive today without them. On your side in Medina, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.